hope you have seen the second splash art at the top of rents. This picture, if it doesn't wake you up, nothing will. Some people write and they say, oh, there are plenty of fish in the Pacific Ocean, the North Pacific. Well, maybe there are in places. Generally speaking, we think it's 90% dead or more. Look at the fish. That's radiation. They are dying of radiation. You don't want to be eating those fish. Would you eat those fish? I don't think so. Look at the pictures. Look underneath the pictures. Look what radiation is doing to the Pacific Seattle uh, sea life, rather. Click here. Do that. Click and watch. Understand, please. This is not a joke. The situation is getting worse. Uh, cancers are going to begin to show up in Americans more and more. There's no way around it because they're eating things in the Pacific Ocean. But beyond that, they're being irradiated all across the country every day. The Fukushima radiation release now is said to be the largest in years. They only have five years, so that's saying a lot. They, they will never stop what's going on over there in our lifetime. TEPCO says it's going to re-scan uh, Reactor 2 with Muon to see if they can find the fuel. They don't know where the hell the fuel is. They don't have any idea where that fuel is. None. How does that make you feel? Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy announced that 16 more ships have still been radioactive since they passed through the plumes off Fukushima after 311. 16 more ships. How many crewmen on those ships are going to get cancer? Oh, they say, don't worry. It's a very light dose, small exposure. Be happy. Well, tell that to the crew members of the USS Reagan who are dying, many of whom are no longer in the service. They're out of here. This is not a joke. And it's not talked about in the lying, treasonous mainstream media which should never be taken seriously again by any of you after you've watched what they've done to Donald Trump, ever. This is a horror that we're witnessing. So with that, we're going to go up to British Columbia, talk to the one, truly one of the most heroic people around. Uh, Yoshi won't be here tonight. He is still in China right now. Uh, he'll be back next week, I believe, and have a report for us then. Uh, talk about heroic. That man is amazing. Uh, but Dana Durnford has put his life on the line many, many times for all of us. And yeah, we lost a voice when I went live. Say I that again? I, I can't hear anything. You can't hear me? Yeah, you come in that time. Sorry, Jeff. Oh, all right. Well, I maybe the studio didn't turn me up. Um, anyway, I gave people a little update, talked about the picture on the homepage of the... Uh, Fish that are yeah, just I got that. It's dying. just when I jumped to the microphone, I didn't. Oh, you, okay. you start cutting in and out like you're doing now. I can, I can kind of hear you. I'm cutting in and out. That could be just my brain is cutting in. No, no, types. it's probably some technical <laughs> thing. We don't. No, but we it don't does. Know. Yeah, it's breaking up. You're breaking up. All it was right. Like that when I was radio was playing just before you went live, and the radio was breaking up whenever I turned the mic on. That's a brand new mic, so I'm coming in okay. It's not the mic. It's uh, the internet has so many jumps and hops and skips. You never know. Uh, if we need to, we can. You sound fine. Um, we you can call you. Me out, just keep talking, and I'll hear you. Can you hear me okay, or am I still dropping out? Well, you come in good, but it's. I suspect it's only when you start talking that you you breach. Well, Todd will work on it. We have to call you back and set up another line. We will. All right. Now I've got this picture up there, and the idea of people in denial. <laughs> Not wanting to face the fact that the sea life in the North Pacific is essentially gone. Sure, there are yeah. some fish left around, but the food chain is destroyed. It's broken into little pieces, links, missing links now. And the radiation, of course, continues to migrate from the ocean on land all across North America. Canada, U.S., there's nowhere to hide. You just have to watch out what you eat, first of all. You should have an air purifier in your home talking about the best you can get uh it's it's just 
got you've got to take steps. Uh, so what's what's new, my friend? How did your uh, 311 24 hour? We talked last time a little bit about this. It went, you went nine hours with it or something, 10 before you lost your voice. Yeah, I went 10 hours. It was a good show. I was, you know, how you pitch your voice. I do a lot of character voices, or a lot of mimics, and uh-huh. a lot of poking fun at myself. So I pitch my voice a lot. Uh-huh. And I, I knew at the end of 10 hours I was done anyway. I can feel it really bad. But, you know, I've slept for the last nine, 10 days um, straight pretty well the whole time. Wow. And so wow. I, today I started up uh, back to my one hour a day, five days a week show. Uh, at uh, livestream.com, Dana Durnford. And so I'm uploading now. In Wait, Super what time Illinois. is it? What, what, excuse me. What it's time t- is this program? It's 10.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, British Columbia, Canada. Time. For an hour? One hour show, live show. And you can. And, and it's on live stream? What is that? Your own, well, that's your own? Live, yeah, I got to count it live stream. That's your own production. That's my own production. Um, yeah. I'm using. 20 grand worth, say, of uh, software on top of that to, to pull that show off. And uh, we provide, I'm getting really good at it because I've been at This is the third season, the third mm-hmm. episode, uh, third <clears throat> season, first episode, this morning's right. episode. And so that's five days a week. Uh, we provide you with the entire, everything I say, I, I put, I pull up the documentation as I'm doing it, pictures <clears throat> or headlines or whatever. So it's an audio stuff. video presentation. Now, if yeah. you, if you want to, we can, but you'd have to start earlier at nine o'clock Pacific times at ten thirty. It might be too difficult, but I, I've got a spot on the network. Uh, that would be really a good addition. Yes, there's something to think about. Uh, nine, no, nine is not too early. It's just I figured ten thirty was a good time. Well, I have to think about that one, Jeff. Thank you. I, yeah, I really do will. do, and well, we also have. Uh, hold on, let me see here. I've got uh, two to three, and three to four Pacific time. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that could be a, a four day a week program for you. Yeah, yeah, no, that's interesting. Really so interesting. just uh, put that on the plate and see okay, what happens. Okay, well, so I'll email you on that, Jeff. Absolutely. Right. And thank you, by the way. Uh, they hacked us, and like when I got out of jail, they attacked my YouTube account and knocked down the two videos I was arrested for. Now, they didn't get a court order and knock those videos down. They created ghost accounts and put illegal strikes on. These videos, and the day I got out of jail, they were knocked down. So no one can see, um, no one was able, which is really interesting. Why didn't they get a court order to take the videos down? Uh-huh. That doesn't, right? If they were uh-huh. able to charge me, with it, why didn't they have a court order to knock the video down too? And I've talked about that before, of course, but so I went and got a live stream account. That was $600. And is, that, is that a month? A year. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. to do it properly, it's nine thousand dollars a year. To have the, the high bandwidth and all the bling. Wait, bling nine thousand a year. A year, yeah, to do a oh, live stream. Wow. Okay. Livestream dot com. I I think we can carry video too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. we need to talk to Todd. We'd cut that bill in half anyway. That's ridiculous. Yeah, because that's like craziness in it, you know. But that's the future, obviously. And uh, just just a long story short. But like you say, the live stream now, because I had enough time with the software and I had enough, finally got rest after all the expeditions on the ocean, the 260 days and coming ashore. And oh, yeah. Rested and five yeah. court appearances and 12 hotels and a dozen ferries and 3,000 kilometers of drive and five court appearances. Another one coming up in, in June. Uh, but I'm not phased by that. And now I'm finally focused again, which is good. I needed, I needed something like that at the same time, you know, I'm producing a documentary at the same time I want to get out and, and start lecturing and doing presentations because I think maybe that's the way to go but the internet is such a big venue and if you can do it right on the internet you don't need to go anywhere else if you and that's what I'm trying to accomplish with all the software uh-huh, uh-huh. using and we do have 25,000 25,000 supporting documentation so it's not like I got to go out all the time and look for the documentation. It's all ready, right there at my fingertips. No matter what the topic is, I can bring in the, the, the bang, bang, tank, your main, uh, right, boom, boom, boom. That's the beauty of that where mm-hmm. the subject can flip and do into any conversation and I can bring up the documentation. So any argument, that's the idea. It was to train yourself good enough. Like you say, before we went on the ocean, we covered 9,000 headlines on Fukushima. 
Uh, we also covered 700 accidents around this planet that are major accidents. Wow. But then, you know, then you start realizing how many nuclear plants uh, are wasting. Like, you got a map up on your site, uh, a link to the map, Daily Caller up on your site of the maps where all the nuclear plants are to. And anybody lives close to those areas or downwind or left right of those areas or in that zone, that danger zone, is shocking. And that nuclear power plants, they take 25 years just to get a license to build these places. Uh, some plants have taken 45 years. Huh. And a lot of that's to do with the environmental concern of it. Right. And so a lot of people can't wrap their mind around because um, they're told about bananas, Jeff. And I was talking about oh, this today. God. Right. So a banana, if you were to, is potassium 40, folks, is what they're talking about, the material. But that's uh -huh. natural. And everybody's acclimated through genetic superior selection. And if you were to try to uh, gather up a gram of potassium 40 from bananas, and you finally done that, and you got a gram of this refined potassium 40, and you atomized an aerosol that into the environment, uh, you can measure it in curries, and a curry is uh, 37 billion becquels per second. Every second, there's this pulse of energy from 37 mm -hmm. billion little tiny pulses. <clears throat> and so it's mm -hmm. booming, you know, it's an amazing amount of radiation. And so uh, bananas, a, a gram of potassium-40 from natural stuff, whether it was potato chips or anything like that, uh -huh. uh, is equal to uh, five, is point zero 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 zero, which is 10 million, and then 71. So point zero 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 seven one uh, curries per gram. So out of uh, 37 billion, it was 0. 0.00071. Now, when it comes to man-made stuff, you were looking at 88 curries. So no points at all, right? So no. 80, 88 times 37 billion. Mm -hmm. So that's why you might hear me referencing referencing why a gram of this stuff has enough atoms to kill everybody on the planet if you yeah. distribute it out. Yeah. And that, that was always just a little burden. But uh, there's 5 million pounds of each of the reactors in Japan. Uh, they had 3,450 uh, 3, assemblies. Each assembly had uh, 80 rods. Each rod is 12 feet and 18 pounds. Uh -huh. And then these, every 18 months, you take that 5 million pounds and put it up on the roof. And so all the stuff is gone from the roof and all the stuff is gone from the reactors and they're, and they're all vacant. And that all went into the ocean. And what you were talking about before, about the fish bleeding from the eyes and the fins and... and uh, everywhere on a fish that you can bleed from. We've seen that before uh, three years ago here in Canada in the Georgia Straits, Johnson Strait, where uh, fisheries and ocean scientists had collected over 100 uh, herring, and every one of them had that same thing going on. As yeah, the trope I remember that. Yeah. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, we had 200,000 birds dying, and I was reading a headline yesterday about that, reading through literature about it, and a lake inland had 8,000 birds Murs. Now, I've never seen murs on this on a freshwater lake. They're saltwater birds. They're deep diving saltwater birds up to six hundred feet. Uh, any of them can dive that deep. Some of them can dive a bit deeper. That's but, really deep. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. That that is impressive. How do they not get uh, what what happened to you? How does their blood not get nitrogen narcosis? Right. Yeah, because they're not breeding compressed air. Wow. Yeah, and now the, the Japanese women, I'll just flip stories for a second. Japanese women, uh, there's traditional divers down there have been diving for 2,000 plus years. Yes. These are all women. They'll dive right up until the day they're going to have a child when they're pregnant, and then they'll dive the next day or the same day again back in the ocean. And a lot of them develop uh, uh, decompression injuries, but they don't use any re compressed air. Uh -huh. so, so I don't know, you know, like birds have evolved to do it, I guess is a better way of looking at it. That's their natural habitat, and they, they are at one in the ocean. That's their, they're more at comfortable in the ocean than they are on land. Right. Yeah, they, they're half fish anyway. I've seen them dive down like mirrors, dive right, swim right past you. And when I've been diving, commercially diving, many, many times and try to like ridiculously reach out and touch them or something like that. And just one flip of their wing and they're gone all the way back to the sea. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't unusual, though. They would come out and hang out behind you, and you'd be working on the ocean floor, uh, stirring up rocks and sea urchins and everything. And so all the shrimps and the prawns and that, they would come in and pick away at that right, right alongside of you.